Monica Mayland directly slapped Nicola Sturgeon's desire to join EFTA. Nicola Sturgeon wanted Scotland to stay in the single market using the same path as Norway, but her plan suffered an embarrassing blow in 2016, unearthed reports reveal. Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon is determined to hold a second referendum on independence as soon as the coronavirus pandemic is over, despite Prime Minister Boris Johnson firmly resisting the pressure. The Scottish National Party, SNPS goal is for Scotland to leave the UK so that the country can rejoin the EU. Over the last few years, though, there have been conflicting claims regarding the country's accession to the bloc. An independent Scotland would now border a non-EU country, likely requiring infrastructure and border checks between regions whose communities are deeply intertwined, similar to the problem of the Irish border that severely complicated Brexit talks. Scotland could also be rejected by Brussels due to its current deficit of 7% of GDP, unless it adopted a strict austerity program from the EU as well as potentially adopting the euro. Moreover, new members can only be allowed into the bloc through a unanimous vote from the existing member states, and Holyrood would undoubtedly ruffle feathers if it were to join. Even becoming part of the European Free Trade Association, EFTA, Dash the regional trade organization and free trade area consisting of four European states, Iceland, Liechtenstein, Norway, and Switzerland, could be an issue for Scotland. According to a throwback report, after the 2016 EU referendum, Ms Sturgeon would have liked Scotland to join the association, as she wanted Holyrood to remain in the single market. However, she immediately suffered a damaging blow as Norway's former trade minister Monica Mayland ruled it out. At a meeting of ministers of the four EFTA members in Geneva, she claimed Scotland did not have the competence to join the organisation for now. Speaking as it emerged that former First Minister Alex Salmond had held informal talks with EFTA members in Switzerland, Ms Mayland said the Scottish government should have spoken to the UK government instead as it was an internal matter for the UK. She said, as for now, I think Scotland has not the competence to go into this after but I think this is an internal matter for the UK, so I think Scotland should talk to the government in the UK about these matters. Moreover, Ms Meelan's comments came as it was disclosed Ms Sturgeon had unveiled a report before the 2014 independence referendum that had warned against the so-called Norway plan, as it was not a desirable option from an economic or democratic standpoint. Murdo Fraser, the Scottish Conservatives' shadow finance minister, said at the time, Norway's trade minister has now joined many other European figures in pointing out that a deal like this is simply not going to happen. And even if it were possible, the SNP government itself said only two years ago that it would not be right for Scotland. The SNP's own analysis set out that EEA membership would deprive people in Scotland of any influence over EU laws and regulations. He urged the SNP to work with the UK government to help get the right Brexit deal for the entire country rather than engaging in pointless day trips to Geneva. In a recent interview, historian and head of an Icelandic free market think tank Jota J. Guðmundsson insisted countries like Norway and Iceland will soon want to leave their current arrangements with the EU and strike something more similar to Britain's trade agreement. On 23 June 2016, Britain decided in referendum to leave the European Union. The Brexit referendum was promised by David Cameron during the campaign for the 2015 general elections. Theresa May, his successor, has vowed not only to leave the EU but also to abandon the single market. This scenario of hard Brexit was not the one most people predicted but it has become a very plausible one now. Moreover the negotiations of Brexit with the European Union are not going as well as many initially predicted. Michel Barnier, chief negotiator of the European Union announced on 20 November 2017 that if the UK is to abandon EU rules and regulation a post-Brexit agreement will be very complicated.